Well, we're off for another adventure on Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. It's the start of a beautiful morning. Let's hope that it stays like that. And uh, I hope everybody gets out this weekend, gets a little fishing in. Right now it's pretty calm. It's supposed to 10 to 15, so I don't think it's gonna be too, too bad out there out of the east-southeast. And I think tomorrow's gonna be even lighter, so we're gonna get out there, go to the bait spot, hopefully get this little munchkin man to catch us some bait. He caught a little bit yesterday, but we have to work on his cast net skills a little bit more. So we are off and running. caught some bait good job Finn get him Finster quit looking at the camera and fight the fish I'm gonna have to teach you how to get that pole out from being between your legs oh yeah there's the first snapper of the morning that's a keeper good job Finster It's almost acting like a big snap. Hurry up, Chad. I'm getting bit too. <laughs> I just pulled it out of the fish's mouth. Ah, yeah, nice. nope, oh. not a bad gag though. I know I talk about this a lot, but this pinfish was hit. And if you look at him, there's really not much to him, except for he's missing a couple of scales. That's all it takes for these fish not to hit this bait. Now, when they're on fire, they'll, they'll eat it. But with this little bit of just offness on his scales, that's all it takes for them not to eat this again. God, as soon as it got to the bottom, he was on it. Amazing how hard a small this fish, or small this fish, a fish this small fights. He hit it like a freight train. Boom! Pay attention, ears. Now you're on the bottom, I think. See color. See color. <laughs> leader. Yep, another snapper. Oh, swing him in the boat. That's a keeper. Come on, swing him. Swing him. Good job, buddy. Another good snapper. What do you say, Finn? I did good. You and your thumbs up. Uh oh, Chad's on too. Oh, Chad sucks again. <laughs> today I'm able to use my bait cutter because we actually caught bait of size today. So instead of just using small white bait, 
we were, were able to catch some big white bait and now I'm using my bait cutter to get that cut up and uh, use it for chum and for cut bait so it makes it a lot easier well this particular grouper has one of our jig heads in its throat not one not one that we bought because it's got green braided line on it but it's got a swing jig in its throat let's see if he measures out he ain't happy it's like you put me scissors, back in the Finn. water sucker Finn, you got the scissors well that fish was 23 and a half but what we're doing is we're free lining our cut bait that I used the bait cutter to cut up with and we're just free lining right now Chad lost a good one and I just hooked that that 23 and a half inch grouper we've got almost a cooler full of uh, snapper we're working on our three-man limit that's a good snapper right there Another good snapper. Paper, paper. Now that is a snapper. My grandson was trying to tell me it was no snapper. I said, that's a snapper. Because I could tell by the way they fight. Oh, you spit up some. Oh, yeah, chummers. <laughs> Well, it was a fun day in the water. We got our limited snapper, caught some grouper. Didn't catch any keeper grouper, but caught a lot. Lost some nice ones. Uh, it was a good day out with my grandson and Chad. And now it's time to do the chores and clean the boat and all that fun stuff. So if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the website or to the, to the YouTube channel and sign up for the contest. Uh, we're getting ready to hit 12,000 subscribers, so we're going to do another contest drawing then. And uh, if it keeps going, we're going to be picking one every like month and a half. So thank you for the support on the channel. We really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that's bought jig heads, bug screen, fluorocarbon line, braided line, um, everything. So again, fish more, catch more, and make sure you get out and take a kid fishing. We'll